This week, it's all about the accessories. Fun accessories can really make an outfit come to life. Plus, we get a ton of requests for more jewelry how-tos. So this week, Abigail from abbygirl.com is going to show us how to make a mod necklace out of hardware store finds. Check it out. My name is Abigail Seligson, and my label is called Abby Girl. I'm in Philadelphia. Uh, this is my apartment slash studio. I work from home. I prefer to work on my coffee table. I have been making jewelry since I was probably like eight. That's when I first learned. And I started my company my senior year at Pratt, which is where I went to school. I actually use a lot of photographs that I take myself. This is the current collection. The earrings I have on were inspired by this manhole cover. I grew up in the city and I use the urban environment as my inspiration. That's colors, it can be vibrant, it can be dull, it doesn't matter. It usually goes with the seasons, um, but for the most part it's the urban environment because I'm very much in tune with that. As someone who went to school for graphic design, I was spending a lot of time on the computer and it's really artificial to do work like that. And when I started to work um, using silk screening and then using my hands, I just missed using my hands doing work. And this is, allows me to, to work professionally as a graphic designer and then do what I love, and which is jewelry, and use my hands and feel like I have a more three-dimensional world instead of two-dimensional. I'm gonna show you how to go to a hardware store, basically, and find whatever you need to make a new necklace or a new pair of earrings. I think the hardware store is a treasure <laughs> chest of different objects you can get and make jewelry from. So I went to the hardware store earlier today and I got washers. Um, I spent $2, um, so it's really inexpensive. And if you use your creativity, you can basically make whatever you want. You can buy your basics for jewelry making with wire, wire cutters and needle nose pliers. If you spend like $15 in the beginning, you don't have to buy it again. I want to make a pendant with a very large washer. So you need to get like 18 gauge, so this is 16 gauge wire, but 18 gauge wire. I don't like measuring things. I don't like planning things out too far in advance because I think that it, I don't know the rules of jewelry design. Personally, I design what I think is, looks cool. So I thought it would be cool to have a silver pendant, which you can also paint later with spray paint which I love and have a lot of spray paint also. You just take the wire, tighten it around the top, then wrap in the wire like four or five times. I made a loop to put the chain on. Before I do that, so I don't have to buy a jump ring, which you can get at any jewelry supply store. You can even make jump rings. Um, I put the chain, the ends in here. I actually found this chain at a hardware junk store. So finish putting both sides in there so that it's closed. So you have an actual necklace. It's basically going to be a medallion. So just making a loop and then wrapping the piece that's already around it, the other side of the wire around the piece of metal tightly, as tightly as you can. Um, and as neatly as you want. You can make it messy. People make messy stuff all the time look good. Um, then trim the extra wire so you don't have anything sticking out. If you don't put a jump ring or a clasp on it, make sure it fits over your head, which I didn't do, so it might fit, it might not. Oh, it does. Hence, I have a new necklace. It's really cute with my outfit. <laughs> and that's basically how I do my thing. Hardware store haute couture. <laughs> When we return, I'll give you a rundown of some of my favorite accessory DIYs, perfect for prom. Welcome back. Prom time's in full effect, so here are some awesome accessory how-tos that'll make your dress pop. Love Megan's chandelier necklace, inspired by Prada, is so pretty. You can make your own faux pearls from Instructables, or try out these tassel earrings from Craft Scene. Cut Out and Keep has a bunch of great toots like the bullet bracelet, a wire-wrapped ring, the lollygoth zipper collar, ponja back of the hand jewelry, and jewelry from an old belt. Vicki Howell made an awesome zipper embellished headband, and this rosette headband by Rosemary Watson is so cute. But these latex gauntlets are by far my favorite. Rockin'! We also have a bunch of really good past episodes you should definitely check out. 
like Jennifer Perkins resin jewelry, the charm drop necklace, custom shrink jewelry, and the very easy princess tiara. Have you found any good accessory DIYs perusing the good old interwebs? Let me know in a comment. Till next time, I'll see you later.